Studios. Press start to begin. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Super Bonus Round. We're back with more Metal Gear Solid 3. It's Nick Eater. I'm your host, John Mugi Ward Jay. I'm joined as always by my co-host Jad Peanut. Hi. Jad Peanut, where are you? I tried to whisper, but the microphone didn't pick it up. And Rich Ramos with 767. Hello everybody. Tango's in my sights. Tango down. <laughs> Anyone else left? There was somebody who walked over here, though. Yeah. Let's see, am I am I kneeling right now? Nope, I was. You get a better vantage point, I think. And before I go anywhere. Uh, that's the guy I just took out. Oh, there he is. Oh, boy. Damn. Ooh, there's a mini gun turret. Oh, fuck me. Well. Fuck him if I get to it first. <laughs> Where did he go? Oh, jeez, I don't know. Oh, he, he ran somewhere else. He's, he's back. Oh. Better get him. Ah, damn it. Where the fuck did he go? Oh, I thought, was, I thought that was like an explosive barrel or something. Hmm. There he is. This is HQ. <laughs> this situation is normal. Boom! Get the fuck out of here! Oh, what? not one in the window. What was that, sir? Sorry, I uh, I had Chipotle. I... Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit! Right behind. Oh my. I want to take the thermal vision off now. Yeah, there you go. You didn't duck? Follow your own advice, bitch. Got another froggo. Yep. Oh, it's armor backwards because they didn't flip the texture. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Pop goes the douchebag. Well, you would have done it too. Yeah. Ooh, an M sixty three. Hmm. You ain't getting after me now. So yeah, Rich, while uh, you were spending your vacation high as a kite, I was spending mine sloshed. Like, I had a lot of different drinks during that trip. 
Rich, are you there? We've lost sight of the intruder. Eh, no. Did we lose him? I think we did. I'm eating. Oh, why, oh, Shy? Why you having pets left over, Shy? Sorry about that. Got. I did too, honestly. Again. Who's that? Yeah, basically, you were drunk and having because you had different drinks. I was high and was eating the, the different desserts. Aw. Who's that? Because I still got my passport from Epcot. <laughs> And my favorite one out of all of them was the red velvet um, bunt cake from the um, from the uh, the not the what is it the pavilion uh, in Epcot. It's pavilion. Um, it's in Epcot. It's over by uh, Test Track. Oh, uh, one of those uh, little food stands. Yes, yes, that's where you have to get it. Because it would tell you, because the article you had shared with me told you where you can get them. Oh, awesome. And of course, like I said, I had picked up the, 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 uh, the pass, the food passport and, um, did the tour while I was there. Oh, you did the fish for the arts while you were there? Well, yeah, the, the different, uh, the different, uh, specialty food items. Because mm -hmm. again, I was high as a fucking <laughs> kite. Wow. Yeah. So, of course, and what happens when I'm high? I get hungry. Uh, so, did, did the entire wonderful walk of color cuisine tour then? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, I did that too and uh, got that little cup and uh, cuisine would have loved that artist palette cookie. It's like a shop yeah. cookie with frosting made to look like an artist palette with different paints on it. Yep. That's, is that the fruity one, Austin? Uh, no, that's a cookie. So I was gonna say is that because I I have twice heard you on this channel say oh Christine would have loved the fruity one and I'm like she hates fruity candy ah no. oh right right yeah she likes She's chocolate a, she oh, likes oh my god chocolate chocolate and sweets I, anything fruity no she, she she hates it I swear to God Discord is is really pissing me off today ah uh, sorry about that Rich. No, it's not you. It's fucking Discord. Discord's the fifth Cobra, after all. Yeah. Oh, you ain't fucking kidding. I but am I the Discord. <laughs> but I gotta say, my favorite uh, dish at that fest for the ultra is the chorizo potato empanada. From the that Encanto was food. really good. Oh, I'm not yeah. gonna lie. It had so a lot of heat in on that one. My, that really clears out your sinuses. Yeah, I had to like. I could only take a little bit of it because we had gone to the restaurant there in Me in Mexico, and we had just had we just had a nice lunch, and um, and they had they had this one drink. It's like a it's like a red um, it's like a red like smoothie type drink. Uh, I forget what it's called. It's either called the Voodoo or it's called the Blood Moon or I forget what it's called, but it's red. It has like different like I think it has like tequila in it and I oh I, was it black cherry flavored? Saw... Or... Yes, oh, yes. It's, oh, that might be the uh, margarita made by Neil Patrick Harris. Like the yeah, yes, yes. Uh, black Magic, I think it's called. Yes, Black Magic. That's what it was. Black Magic. It was so fucking good. It was a little bit too sweet, but it but again, it was like it was just really good. So that's why I couldn't um that, that that's why like I couldn't really enjoy that empanada as much as I wanted to. Cuz I'm like, "Oh, I just had this black magic <laughs> alcoholic drink and I'm just like, "Oh boy." Uh, and if I wasn't near 
and it's like I would have had to be near a toilet. Boy. <laughs> That's like, I like spicy foods, but my gastrointestinal tract does not. Yeah, my mom's the same way. Like, that's that's the unfortunate thing. Like, it's like, if if I if I if I eat too spicy, oh boy, I will melt a hole through a toilet. Yeah, your inside guys, your insides will be sick and let it go instead. Oh, yeah, your cell will become corrosive. Yeah, but the best dessert I had at that trip was the deconstructed key lime pie. And I'm not that even a fan of okay. deconstructed dishes. Is it time? That was oh. okay. Is it time? Oh, God. Oh, God. I think it's time. Oh, no. Yep. Ugh. Oh. He dead. No, he's not. No. He, he, no, he is not. Oh, he's snowing. Oh, shit. Well, time to kill. Time to kill. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's <Jesus>. so funny. <laughs> um. I beg of you. Grant me the strength to take this final prey. Let me linger in this world just a little. We give you one week. I have already looked at me for one. It's man. <laughs> enough for an eternity. You have my thing. I have to thank you for waking me. If you hadn't shown up, my sleep would have been eternal. Oh. Do you hear me, snake? I am the end. I am here to send you to your ultimate fate. You'll make a fine quarry for my final hunt. So we'll have taken out four, three of the four cobras at this point. Oh my god. Technically five. Hmm? Uh, don't, uh, don't don't run the surprise. I know. I'm just saying. Eva, I found that sniper you were talking about. That's the end. He's a legend, known as the father of sniping. I've got experience sniping in urban and marine environments. What about the forest? Never. I ah. see. Well, that forest is divided into three areas: a river, a plateau, and a clearing. He should be lying in wait for you in one of those places. Sounds like this may take a while. It'll be a test of endurance. Be careful. From what I've heard, the End has an almost supernatural knack for camouflaging himself. So, whoever moves first loses. This guy's over a hundred years old, though, so I should have the advantage in terms of stamina. I wouldn't be so sure if I were you. Why's that? I've heard that his body is photosynthetic, like a plant. What is he, some kind of monster? On top of that, he can speak to the forest, too. So in other words, he knows it inside out. Uh-huh. But he doesn't know you. I'm sure you can beat him. Don't worry. I intend to. So, John, how are you going to handle this? Are you going to handle this the conventional way? Or are you going to handle this by sneaking up behind him? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to knock him out and get his camo. What I'm also going to do, or, what I'm also going to do or, for shits and giggles, I'm going to make a separate save file. So next time we record, we'll watch him die naturally. Yeah. You might you not want to. Why wouldn't I? Well, it just feels like something bad could happen. It's just your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> the game even <laughs> warned you it's going to happen. This is I, love, I love this game so fucking much. 
It warns you that you're gonna do this. Make sure you come back as soon as you can. I'm gonna save again and make a separate save. Snake, do you wanna save? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Alright. <laughs> it's trying to stop you! Wait, it's trying to stop- Trying to stop you because they know that if you call, don't come back for a week, he dies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please, come back soon. <laughs> I've never done this, so I've never tried it. I've only read about it. Right, what's our time? Oh, we got we got time to finish this. All right, so this boss this boss fight takes place in like four different areas, so you just have to find oh them. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh, and because I'm trying to hide myself from sniper fire. No, I'll make myself hungry too. Supposedly quickly. his sniper rifle supposedly his sniper rifle is uh has tranquilizers apparently. Yeah. From what, that's what I heard. Yeah, I think it's That's what I heard. That's one of his traps. I could be wrong though. Wait. I think I just went backwards, so I, I left the fight. Okay. Ah, uh, He's not gonna die if I leave. It takes it's a week. Welcome back, Snake. I've been waiting for you. You know what would be funny is if like when you load this one, you when we like, welcome back, Snake. I've been Oh and, then, <laughs> and he died. That's why I wanna save. I w I, I wanna know what happens. Uh, we're gonna find out. We'll find out next time we record. Ah. Uh, Oh shit! He knows where I am now. But again, if you sneak up behind him and attack him, yeah, you will get his ah, gun. He's, right, he's up there. He's up, he's up there. You call yourself the son of the boss. And John, you call yourself a aficionado of this game. I never called myself that. I just like this game a lot. But not enough to keep yourself alive and have to do this multiple times. <laughs> you hang around Austin too much. <laughs> I do not! No, because he's starting to rub off on you. His... Oh, I wanted to, I wanted to use a word I'd prefer not to. John, surely you realize that I am tired. I had a really, really busy day yesterday because I wanted to make sure I got everything done yesterday so that I would be free up to death. Uh -huh. But it was a lot, even for my even for my social anxiety. It was a lot. So I am very tired. When I am tired, I'm very cranky and hungry at the same time. Hence why I ate. That's why I tried the. That's why I drank a G fuel. And when I'm cranky, I'm impatient. Well, at least when you're, all, you're only impatient when you're cranky. Austin's impatient all the time. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't want to take my meds, quote unquote, because I'm trying to have a natural feel right now, and eventually save it for later when I'm trying to go to sleep. Okay, so later in the recording or after? After. Okay, that's fine. I recommend. I again, recommend. I, I recommend using them in our next game, though. Well, hopefully, hopefully it can. Hopefully, if if the planets align, it can be on a Saturday and not a Sunday. That's, that's actually a lot more plausible than that lately. Um, well, you guys already know because of our 300 subscriber promise what that next game after this is going to be. Oh, oh God. Spiru. Oh, God. The worst Spiru game ever. <laughs> well, you know what? Yes. <laughs> no, it is, John. It is the worst one ever. Yeah, but I'm also counting the Skylanders games. <laughs> the Skylanders games were more enjoyable than that. <laughs> and we're longer. Yes, exactly. They were longer. And function. 
Yes! Meanwhile, uh... Oh, if you, Discord. If you... Oh, Discord. Oh, Discord. Oh, boy. Uh, Discord! Discord, I swear to God. Either that or one of you or one of you guys' internet is absolutely shitty today because uh, I am be direct Mac connect Mac hardwired. Uh, possibly. I'm always hardwired. So, and I and thank God I actually invested in a port switch to be hardwired. Oh good, good. Like my piece my my uh, desktop has always been hardwired. The game console, unless I need it for the uh, the recording, I well, my PS5 has it, actually. But the Xbox, wait, I don't need it today. Bird. Wait, you don't need... Wait, and what game are... What are you playing this on? The, P the X Series X? Yep. You technically should be having that hardwired, but... Don't have enough ports. Plus, it, plus I, I, don't easily need, I don't need it to be... I don't need it to be plugged in to share it with you guys anyway. It's not gonna... Right, you have the computer. That's right, the computer has. Yeah, to Discord. So it's obviously, Discord's whoever's fault. internet, so ever who, so whoever's internet is, is crapping out is. I'm gonna be the meanest son of a bitch on the planet right now. What? Do it. That's his bird. Oh, that's his. That's the sniper's bird. Oh eat boy, it. eat it. No, let's save it first. I have an. I have an idea, and I got. I got this from a streamer who's been playing uh, these games lately. I have a cruel idea. Okay, well, I need to know the cruel idea because if it doesn't happen in this recording, oh, trust me, I just need to get real close to him. I need to find out where this bastard is. That's the problem. His body is photosynthetic, so that means he blends in. He still comes up on thermal. He does? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Remember, it's a river, a plateau, and... I forget what else. And a clearing. And a clearing. But he always takes the high vantage point so he can find you. Yeah, well, the plateau is one and the clearing is probably the other. So, uh, yeah, the, riv oh, the river is at a low, is at the low point. Mm -hmm. The plateau, I think, is the middle and the clearing is the high point, I think. But there's still a high point on the plateau. If I'm not mistaken. Up there? No, it was just a. Uh... Oh, now it's raining. New yeah, shit. Wait, is he down there? Oh, yeah. No, must... When you have him go, welcome back, snake, or something like that. Yeah, if he if he can see you, he can, he'll do that. But you can sneak up on him. Oh. Yes, you can. Like, you can walk up to, uh, behind him. And I like, hold him up. And again, that's how, if you attack him from behind and kill him that way, you can get his gun. Yep. I think yeah, uh, I spent a decent portion of time doing when I played this game. You ever heard of this uh, animated sitcom, Hanna Barbera, they called Wait Till Your Father Gets Home? The name of Ring a Bell. It, was, it does ring a bell. It was pretty much the original Family Guy people are saying. Like, it was made in the 70s and it was animated, but it had a lot of shock humor. A lot. A lot of shock? What, wait, shock humor? Yeah. Like, uh, his the main character sex to him neighbor, Rafi, was an open bigot. And he was so annoyed that I said to him, You know, Rafi, compared to you, the Grand Wizard of Ku Klux Klan is a ripple. To it, Rafi wow. said, I know, that's why I never joined. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I, yeah. And this was by Hanna Barbera in the 70s, by the way. Like, Jesus. Oh. 
Well, right, get him, here, Here's the cruel idea I have. I'm gonna puke. Oh, no. <laughs> His pet wasn't tasty at all. Yeah, and I'm gonna do something else with it. Oh, God. I got this from Maddie. <laughs> she did this on her stream, so I'm gonna do it, too. Okay. <laughs> That's so vile. <laughs> That's so vile. And given her personality, uh, uh, based on what I've got from watching her streams, I never would have thought she would do this, but she did. <laughs> oh, no! He didn't oh, shit! He didn't vomit it. Who the hell is that, by the way? That's him! Oh, it is him! Shoot Holy him! Shit. Shoot him! I think I need to go a little longer. <laughs> what do you think? 15 seconds? Yeah, something like that. Or what exactly uh, are you doing? If you spin him around the he, model viewer, he pukes. When you exit. <laughs> so I ate his bird, I'm gonna puke it on him. <laughs> so fucked up saying okay, it all out. <laughs> Has it been 15 seconds yet? Oh, yeah. Let's go to 20. 17, 18, 19, 20. You went to the back! Oh, shit! What the fuck happened? Flashbang. Flashbang grenade. Come back here, you fat fuck! Come here! Oh boy. Ah. Fuck, he disappeared. No, he did not. Oh, that's a giveaway of my position. Hold on. So I doubt it, Maddie. Oh, that's rare, Raspberry. I doubt you're watching, but uh, that's for you. I got Aww. that idea from I got that idea from you. Fuck. What's the matter? I'm over here. Damn it! Jesus! Fuck! Oh, and I fell down a cliff. Holy shit! Wait, where is he now? He's panting. He's up there. I guess I'm just going back up. Uh, save the battery real quick. So he won't move around randomly unless you uh, unless you find him. He's a. Uh, he will stay in one place till you, till you encounter him again. That actually, uh, speaking of Maddie, that reminded me, uh, I remember she was, she was playing one of the Metal Gear games and she was complaining of how one of the games, uh, Snake's ass was too flat. And I said, hey, I said, hey, be glad he be glad he doesn't have the flat ass of Gabe Logan from Siphon Filter. I sent her a picture of it and she and she was crying, laughing. She, she looks like a gingerbread man. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I sent it to her on Twitter. And she replied, she looks like a gingerbread man. Yeah, Gabe's ass was super fat. He had a, he had a booty that nah, the quiet quit. <laughs> OK, why is your. Why is your field of view starting to shrink? Because he shot me with the crank tranquilizer needle. Yeah, why? <laughs> hey, this works. Hey, this works. Hey, you can just take it off, and all it does is they make you hungry. Is that him over there, or is that a mushroom? These are his foot. Get your scope out. Wait. Get your scope out. You can also use the directional mic too, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, the directional mic doesn't actually hurt him. 
No, but you can if you hear him breathing. Yep, there he is. This show must go on. Oh, it, 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 it didn't last as long as I wasn't right next to him. And look at his footprints. Oh god, where did he go now? Oh, he probably, he probably went this way. Fuck. Uh, there he is, there he is, there he is! Oh, fuck. Fuck. He wasn't surprised for an old man. Yeah, they said he gets his energy from the, the forest around him. He does photosynthesis. Yep. Like that thing that SpongeBob did in that one episode. He... Oh, Photosynthesis. Yeah. Photosynthesis. <laughs> Fuck her right in the pussy. Fuck her right in the pussy. <laughs> hey, SpongeBob! How you eat the pussy? <laughs> That's one of my favorites. Well, Austin already knows that because I've referenced it several times. Yeah. In the, in the Crash 4 playthrough and also, um, Battle Toads. My only positive memory from that playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my positive memory was just you banging your fists on a desk. I'm surprised this table's still intact. <laughs> oh, that might have been your greatest rage moment yet. Up to the left. I think that's him. Oh, shit. oh fuck! Just gotta follow his footsteps. He didn't get too far. I see him. Oh. <laughs> oh, he likes that. Oh, he's tired. Now oh, he started running again. I'm gonna destroy my bowels. Uh oh. Oh shit. I think he got him though. No, he's still there. And he started, ah. run he started running again. Ah, uh, one must to do it. Like, like hit to the head. Yeah. There he is. Ah, you missed. Fuck! Damn! <laughs> We've all got him. <gasps> oh fuck! Ah, damn it, John! As long as you can keep a beat on him, you're good. Not too bad. 
We'll end the episode when we beat him. If you hear him panting, that means he's not far away. I still got good battery on my thermal goggles, too. Oh, they're up here. Oh, fuck. He's right there. That's a uh, not him. Ah, damn. There he is. I've got a present for you. I might have tranquilizers. Fuck! I can still not punch him. And you said John's bad at this game. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry. You still are. <laughs> I thank you. The boss would be proud of you. The time has come for a younger generation to rise. You can spare it this forest, old man! I've been Uh, if you kill his bird, he's a, a bird is a ghost. Seriously? Yep. What a splendid way to end it. I like the I like the touch of his uh, leaf camo turning into autumn. I have no regrets. Except that you ate my I bird and puked his remains on me. My only regret is I didn't give out enough gummers. Fuck off! <laughs> Stop <laughs> it! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't give up for that velveteen rub. <laughs> velveteen rub? Oh, oh my god! That's the nickname. That's the nickname of giving a blowjob without teeth. When I'm done with your cock, it'll be the end of your cum. Because it will taste like a sloppy toppy. <laughs> now, you know what I'm picturing him doing now? Like, you know you know that one old man that Cotton Hill hangs out with? I'm just picturing him doing that, that blow in his cheeks thing. Doing. <laughs> 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 Let me give you a sloppy toppy like nice and regular. Ooh, gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. No, now you guys know how far I am on King of the Hill. <sighs> I think this would be a perfect place to end the episode, John. Yep, because you know why? It's the end of it. Oh, yeah! <laughs> So next time on the Super Bonus Round, it better be the end of these uh, Gummer jokes. It better be. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. There's no such thing as an end to a Gummer. That's <laughs> right. You will hear both sides of that side. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye.